Okay, morning. Uh, good. Uh, let's begin our class. And uh, this class we uh, introduce the uh, Georgic modeling, and uh, it includes this content. The first is you need to know some methods of Georgic modeling, and the process of the modeling. And the second, we need to build the fault mode, and that's called the fault model, and uh, pillar grading. And then we need to make the surface model. That's called the surface modeling. And the fourth step, we need to build a structure and a stratigraphic model. We need to make hardened. And the next step, we need to make edge point and make thickness maps. And then we need to make zones. And then narrowing. Narrowing is the means zone division. Division. And after that, we need to make sedimentary fissures mode. It's uh, we have some methods of the fissures modeling. For example, geometric geometric modeling. We need uh, some fissures maps and uh, fissures modeling. And uh, we uh, introduce some other fissures modeling methods. And uh, after that, we need to scale up Velox. Include the features and uh, do the data analysis and uh, then features modeling. Uh, after the features modeling, we need to make the petrophysical model. We need to scale up well log, include the process, permeability, water saturation, and uh, we share. Then do the uh, data analysis and then picture of physical modeling. So that's called uh, features controlling fish, uh, picture of physical model. At the last, we need to know how to display our models and some results. So that's all the content of the George modeling. Okay, next, uh, uh, I will show you how to do this work. And uh, 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 continue to our project we need to input some necessary data for modeling. At first, we need to input some data points or data uh, or structure features. For example, the, this map is okay. The structure map, that's okay, yeah. So I will, I will uh, give you a accurate uh, structure map. Okay, so so the data is uh, under this folder. Uh, data training, training data, training data for modeling, modeling, and uh, st structure data. This. Okay, we need to uh, change some data format. Okay. Okay, we need to uh, find out our data. Our training data is here. The training data, not modeling. Okay, the training data. And uh, this folder, this modeling data. Because the the data, the x coordinate, there's low 20 in the front of the data. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now let's begin to import. Right click here, import. Just uh, import, uh, find out your data here. Training data. Training data here. Training data. And uh, modeling data. Structure. Point. And uh, right click and uh, open to. Okay, just. Uh, X, Y, and Z. 
Okay, so the, this format, just uh, three columns. So we need to uh, interpret, import, import uh, by this. Uh, by this format, general nines point. This format to import the top structure data. Click OK. Now we need to match each clerm. First clerm is X. Second clerm is Y. And uh, third clerm is Z. And the first nine is not the data. So the number of head nine, we need to input one. So I can't input because the input is Chinese format. OK. We need to shift to English format. Sorry. And uh, here, this one, I can input one. So we need to uh, uh, read as point or nines. Here, I choose the read as point data. Click OK. Click OK. OK, for So, so here, I didn't uh, see anything. But because the show domain is TWT, so we can change to any or PVD. Any is OK. So if you want, uh, uh, don't show the, uh, you want to uh, hide this, you want to hide this, you can click here, clear, clear display, clear display, and uh, just show this, this data. Get it? Okay. <clears throat> now this is a uh, structure. This is a uh, ES226 top structure data. And uh, as that, we need to uh, input, build a new folder, and uh, right click, input, input, uh, so the name, it's uh, Fort Punaga, Fort for the plans, and uh, you can input the pick ES two to six top. Top for the program and uh, copy and uh, rename this and uh, yes two two seven port for the programs and uh, now we can import right click import so two two six for the program for the programs. Select all, and we can choose. Uh, this is, uh, I think, is uh, CPS three, CPS three nines, maybe. Yeah. You can check the format. So this is uh, this format. This format, okay. Just uh, use uh, CPS3 for nines. And uh, Envision tab devs, the template, and the nine tab, port polygons. Click. 
Okay, here, so here is uh, 49, 4th paragraph, 49. And uh, the next import, 227 port. So the format is CPS 423. CPS 239. This format, tabs, and uh, for, for the programs. Okay. Click OK for all. Now, here is the uh, 49. Different service, different uh, for the programs. So, this, this, how to get this program? So, that's uh, this, this program. We can get the uh, for the center line, center line to build the uh, model. Okay, now need to make surface. Check, check the PPT. So before the uh, fourth modeling, we we need to build the fourth. Okay. Yeah. Modeling, fold modeling. At first, we need to uh, build a um, mold and uh, structure modeling. Structure modeling, there are two methods. First method is structural framework, and the uh, second method is color point grading. Uh, this, this class, we introduce a color, uh, color point grading. At first step, we need to define a uh, model. You can give a name, and I can use the default name. That's okay. Default, and here the first is a fourth model. Fourth model. Now we can select all the fourth lines to build the fourth model. Okay, here click click the select mod. And uh, now we can select anything, but we need to uh, click this edit for the model to a box. To a box here is for the model, and uh, I can close some other to a box. The polygon edit and the seismic real time and close and the seismic interpretation. Now. Use this one. Click here, select it become white, and press Shift to select the second line. So these two lines belong to one foot. Belong to one foot. These two lines belong to one foot. Okay. Select these two lines together. And choose uh, this method, and uh, select convert to convert selected lines to fold. Now here, it come out uh, a dynamic, and here is a pillar tab. So there are three temp three three types of pillar tab. Four types: vertical, nano. And uh, knee stick and a curve. So curve have five points, control points, each pillar. And the uh, knee stick have three points each pillar. And the uh, liner just only two points. Usually we use this is okay. And uh, if your fault is very com complicated, you can choose a curve tab. Here we use this is okay. So choose a knee stick and the increment. Uh, default is 300, and the default uh, height, and uh, there is zero, and uh, we can change to 200, 200, default height, and uh, extra height, make some extra, yeah, just okay. Now, can change to five. 
This foot, this foot pillar. There are many pillars. Now we need to check. You need to check here before because our foot line extends to here, but the pillar is uh, here. We need to click here. Select this tools is select the pillar. Select here. You can select the pillar. And if you click here, just select the this point, control point. And uh, here you select the pillar. And click the foot. Foot. And uh, click new pillar. Add to end. Yeah. And uh, we can turn around to check. That's OK. And the other set, maybe we can move. Click. Just click the pillar and move the pillar to the end. And the move, you can click click the square. The square, you can move on the surface. And if you click here, just move up and down. Yeah. Okay. Now, and the move, and the move mode. Here is move mode. The first is the free movement, and uh, usually we use the default. Default is move along nine tangent. And the third is move in vertical plane. A different mode, and this is a uh, default mode. That's okay. New year we use a default mode. If you change to here, it's moved to vertical, 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 and uh, this is free movement. Okay. Now we need uh, a turn around to check, to check, turn around to check here and uh, the point is too big and uh, so I want to uh, make them smaller here double click foot mode and the shape point the size and uh, give 20 so and the pipeline uh, pipe well 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 give five so, okay, I can change here, change here, and turn around to check. Okay, just move to here, maybe. Just move here. Okay. Here. Check. Okay. Maybe it's okay. Now that's the first, first more fault. First fault. Fault model. And uh, the second. This one, click here and uh, press shift. Select these two lines and uh, click here, convert select lines to fold. Okay. Now let's check. Usually at the end or the, this, this side, there are some ablomo point and ablomo pillar here. You can see it's a blomo. This this pillar is a blomo. Click here, select this pillar, and press delete. And then you can check here. You can change this and make the the 
the sim tips or the sim trend sim trend and uh, here just click just click the point to move this only to move point and click the pillar and uh, click fold add to end to extend extend okay to check I think that's okay That's better, and uh, you can move to check. Maybe this move to here, move to here, move here. Okay. Now, this set, this set, we need the. Uh, Con connect connect because the fault is connect if you did 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 not uh, if you don't do the correct it uh, it's wrong okay here we need to do the correct how to correct we need to extend to here extend this fault just click to here here so we need to add a pillar, add a pillar. Click this pillar and uh, press shift and select these two pillars and add two pillar between these two pillar. Add a pillar to between here, this one. Okay, we can move the pillar position. Because this extends to here, we need to get a pillar. Build a pillar. And a check. Maybe this side to here. Here. Okay. Let's check. Maybe extend, extend here. Now, click, select this pillar. And uh, Press shift. Select this pillar. Now, these two pillars from different model select together. And click this. Collect. Collect. So extend for two. Here is for two. Extend for two. Okay. Ex extend. And the this pillar belongs to this fort. And it belongs to this fort too. So it's become white or green. This pillar. So this is a corrected pillar. Okay, so in the same way, we need to do other faults. Okay, then let's uh, build the fault mode one by one. Click here and uh, shift, select this, and uh, Structure modeling and uh, converts fault. Okay. Now we need uh, here this side Bef because this side is less than 300 meter. Just uh, can't build a uh, pillar, so we need uh, sorry this one, and we need uh, extend. Add to end, add to end, and uh, move back. Need to. Okay. And this set, we can. We need to collect. Need to click and uh, here. Check, click here. Click here. And we need to, this, just move. Move to here is okay. I need to move a little. Okay. Yes. Collect. Extend this to here. Just a uh, need to. Okay. Okay. Now we need a uh, six here and uh, press shift to select this pillar. These two pillars select and click. Collect. 
exchange 43 so this is uh, become white okay now the other foot here this one and this one and uh, structure modeling this convert foot okay yeah need uh, extent extent go back okay and this set here okay maybe need to So you need to turn around to and uh, control to move and uh, control and the shift to zoom out or zoom in. Yeah. And uh, there are some what? This one. Okay, and uh, this one. Okay, strict here, extend. And uh, X between and uh, delete. And uh, click here. So if you click the pillar on the pillar, you can move the pillar. If you click the point, just move the point. End and uh, move back because the force just uh, extend here. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, this, this. Okay, because here is uh, I need to uh, ablomo here. We need to uh, extend, need to extend, extend, extend. Uh, check maybe here is uh, a wrong place check So 
it's two now. Two now. Okay. And uh, here. If you can't control the shape, you can add, click here, add a pillar between and extend, move to here. That's okay, I think. And uh, this side, it's okay. And uh, these two, this is um, more complicated here. Because this line is too, this cyclic is too small, yeah. And Weird, I think. Check. Okay, now here I need to connect this foot to here. Connect this foot, this pillar, to this. Okay, okay, move to here. Just move to here and uh, click this to this and uh, click. Correct. Extend eight. That's okay. And uh, here. Here is to structure modeling. Correct. Convert. And here. This is good, and uh, but this side it's a blow move here. Need to delete, delete, and uh, okay. We need to uh, extend up and uh, move middle and uh, extend to this here and uh, click here. Port and to end and the check place. So check place. Maybe it's here. Okay, so it's the deviation. not the correct place because it is a 3D view. Sometimes you, you think it's okay but it's a wrong place. You, Uh, 
just uh, that's okay I think here project and click here select and select click OK this that and this that click Add to end. Go back and eat. Okay. And uh, here. This and uh, this one. Structure. What? This pillar, delete and extend. Trend. Maybe we need to move to here. Move here. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this one. need this pillar and uh, extend check move yeah. okay and this we need to ex extend here. So we need to change the pillar and uh, change to this because this extends Let's check check Okay, now extend. But this pillar is click correct. So the pillar is uh, we need to. Uh, Extend to here and uh, extend here. Check again. Okay. So in this case, uh, uh, 17 foot, and here, last to three foot, click here, click here, and uh, structure volume, here. Now, let's check. So this side, the pillar is wrong. We must delete. This pillar is wrong. We must delete. Okay, let's check. 
extends check the extends place move here Click this pillar and this pillar. Correct. Fort. Correct. Okay. And this set. We need correct too. Okay. This side. Move here. Move here. Here, here. Okay, now click this and uh, click this. Correct. Now we need to change the depths because this came from here to here it's a uh, abromo yeah. in the extend extend and uh, this and uh, move to middle or sorry so if you do a wrong Wrong work, you need to uh, undo. You need to uh, click undo. Okay. Check. That's okay. Yeah. Now this, this set, this. and uh, structure okay so check this pillar this pillar is uh, is strong abromo and uh, here delete <coughs> now extend this extends to here here Move here. Move here. Move here. Okay. Now click. Correct. Foot. Correct. Okay. This set. Extends here. Move this point. Move this point. Move this point. Okay. Check place. Maybe I need to extend. check now we can connect this pillar and this pillar just collect and uh, check the dips the dips Move because this too close. This two this two pillar too close. Uh, too close. Too close. It's uh, a blow move, I think. Okay. 
Okay. I need to, uh, yeah, need to come back, move back, move back. Okay. Okay, and the last fault. That's the fault. Click here, click this, and uh, structure model here, converts 9 to 4. So this, this one, just only one pillar is okay. So you can delete this, delete this, and uh, you can delete the fault. And uh, you, you can select this one, select this one, and uh, fold here. The increment you can change because the 300 is uh, too big to this fold. 300. Okay, the pillar is uh, more than you need, but you need. I didn't need, I didn't need. So, and this, they need. You can get three pillar, three pillar. And uh, here, the extent. Move here, and uh, move middle. Correct this pillar to here. Okay, this side. Move here, move here, and uh, move here. Now, check. Okay, extend here. Okay, select this, select this, connect. And you can delete, yeah, you can delete. If you think some is uh, more dense, you can delete. Okay, now. So we have built uh, all the foot, foot mode. Here, for the fourth mode. Yeah. Now, we need to do the next step. Next step is pillar. Pillar grading. Pillar grading. For the modeling, we have add down. Uh, pillar greedy, this step, and uh, just uh, open a 2D window and uh, clear, clear display, display, and uh, select all faults. Yeah, here show uh, faults uh, midnight, midnight. So we can correct here. This is create a extend grid boundary and here is a uh, creates extra grid boundary from the segment and from the foot click here to here and uh, click here to here and uh, click here to here here and uh, click this click this and uh, Right here or here, that's okay. Yeah, here and uh, click here. Now here um, there are some segments. This segment, this 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 segment, and this part here, big segment. 
So this nine is a boundary, boundary, more the boundary. And uh, but here is a foot, so we must set the foot as boundary. Click here and uh, click foot. And here uh, sets grid boundary. Set grid boundary. This foot become coarse, become coarse. And this is a boundary. This is foot boundary. So we need a set grid boundary. Otherwise, it uh, will be wrong. So we must uh, set this. If you correct the boundary to the foot, you must set the foot as a boundary. Here, this set, a foot. You need to set foot as boundary. Okay, now, if you want to set uh, this as the IG, IG direction, you can sit here, I direction. I direction, it becomes green. Okay, so this pillar grading. Click, pillar grading, and uh, here is, uh, so here, this time, as its increment is five meters to five meters. Just, uh, so you, you sit IG, you can, See that's grid is from grid is from the foot built. If you didn't see see the IG direction, the grid maybe is from north to south. Grid direction is from north to south, not on the foot. So just a quick OK. Yes. So we get we get we get the grid. So the grid. And here is the top grid. You can show the three window. Top grid, middle grid, and base grid. Base grid. Okay, that's the uh, fold modeling and the pillar grading. Now have a break.